I'll be showing you step by step how to remove any code from your Shopify store. This is going to be useful if you have extra code from uninstalled apps that weren't removed or if you're looking to remove something such as the Google Tag Manager. And that's the example we'll be doing in this video. This can be a little intimidating, so I'll be showing you everything here. So make sure you stay until the end of the video. So to start, you'll need to log into your Shopify store. Then from there, you want to navigate on the left hand side menu, clicking on online store. And by default, this should load our theme section. Now to note, when you edit any of the code here, it's gonna to belong to that specific version of the theme. So if you go and edit an older version of your theme from your theme library, it's not gonna to apply to your currently installed theme. And there can be multiple versions of the same theme as well. So before we edit the code, make sure you duplicate the current version of your theme. I always recommend this as if you make any changes, and you don't know what happened. It's so much easier to restore an older version of the theme that you created as a backup. So the way you do this is you click on the three dots next to customize. You can click on duplicate. This will duplicate the exact version and code of your currently installed and hopefully working theme. You can rename this by clicking on the three dots if you like. But next, I'll show you how to remove code here. You can click on the same three dots next to your currently installed and active theme. And then from there, we're going to go to the edit code section and it should be within that drop down. Now on the left hand side, you're going to see a whole bunch of different files here. And so realistically, you could click into any of these files and just remove any code that you like. You want to make sure that you know what you're removing. This can create errors that you might not expect. For most of you who are removing code from extra apps, or if you're trying to remove something such as the Google Tag Manager, I suspect you'll be in what is called the theme.liquid file. Now that should be under layouts on the left hand side you can also search for it. So if I click on the theme.liquid file here, you can see quite a bit of code on this page, including different styling and different scripts that are being called. So if I scroll to the top, you can see something such as Amplify Me. This is an app that's installed on the store and it's going to include the code snippet from this app as well. The most code you'll be removing for different apps are going to be within what is called the head tag. So there's going to be a top of the head tag. And if we control F or command F, we can search for the bottom head tag here and so it's encapsulated within this. If you're looking to remove specific pieces of code, you can probably just press Control F or Command F and search for exactly what you're looking for. In this video, we'll be looking for the Google Tag Manager code that was installed in this store. So I'm gonna press Control F or Command F and search for Google. I can see my hit is here. So on line 263, it's gonna change very much for your store. I can see the Google Tag Manager. So comments are gonna be a left arrow, exclamation point, dash, dash. It's gonna have the text and then you're gonna see a closing dash, dash, right arrow. And so comments don't actually affect the code or the function of the website, but they're used just to add more description on what the code below it or above it is about. Typically it is below it and you might have one below and one above just to make it easy to know what's in between. So if you want to remove any of this code, I know based on a previous video we've did or done, it's these two script tags here. So if I just hover over it all and select it and press backspace, I can easily remove this code from my Shopify store. If I go to save here in the top right, that will finalize the removal of this code and it will no longer be loaded on my Shopify store. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much money your store has actually made. That's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations so you can understand how much money you've actually made. It's gonna sync seamlessly with all your different ad accounts from Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest and TikTok, as well as many cost of goods sold providers. And it's gonna show you a ton of different details, analytics and metrics, so you can start making smarter business decisions for your store. There's a free 15 day trial, so you can test drive everything for yourself. And there's a link in the description below to the app listing. You can also search for it by searching Profit Calc in the Shopify app store, and then looking for this logo in the top left. So get one click profit calculations with Profit Calc. So this concludes the video here on how to remove code from your Shopify store. We went over how to remove it, also how to create a duplicate or a backup version of your currently installed theme. So if you make any errors along the way, it's easy to restore from. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.